So in this triad exercise, we're asked to evaluate the following using the properties of logarithms. Uh, these two problems, it, it's really just a matter of, or this set of problems and the next set of triad exercises, example and triad exercises, just a matter of identifying what property we're applying, and then it that should tell us what the value is. So with log base 13 of 1, we have a property log base a of 1 equals 0. Now notice, it doesn't matter what a is. In this case, a equals 13. But log base any real number of 1, or any positive real number, since it has to be uh, greater than 0, log base a of 1 equals 0. So log base 13 of 1 equals 0. 0. And that's because 13 to the 0 equals 1. It, it, it comes back to log base a of m equals x if and only if a to the x equals m. So by that, <clears throat> that definition, that if and only if biconditional statement, uh, we know that a to the 0, any real number to the 0, any positive real number to the zero power of 0 is going to equal 1. So log base A of 1 equals 0, and therefore log base 13 of 1 equals 0. Now with log base 9 of 9, we're going to be looking at log base A of A equals 1. And again, that goes back to the definition, log base A of M equals X, if and only if A to the X equals N, M. So A to the 1 equals a. So it doesn't matter what a is. In this case, a equals 9. But log base 9 of 9 is going to equal 1. 